Hey, this is the Sprint 6 video report for Murray Campbell. Uh, let's get into what we did this week. Um, so apart from just the, the regular Sprint homework, I fixed uh, I fixed input up a bit uh, by adding a new input event for the key being held down. So now I have callbacks for key down, which is called once, key held, which is called every update when the key is held, and key released, which is also called once when the key is released. And let me go into key event handler and I can show that. We've got the uh, key pressed, key held, key released. And uh, there's that. So that's good. Uh, that works really nicely and I can use it in uh, input over here. Uh, we've got the key pressed and key held, so on the, when the key is pressed, uh, we shoot a bullet um, from the factory, and when the key is held, we're moving. Uh, on key release, uh, that happens, I should delete that, but anyways, um, so that works, that's good. Uh, let me show that in action, I guess. Um, you can kind of see what's going on here, uh, if I do... So just some things to notice, I'm going to do this just once. Uh, you can see the collision with the, the collision messages are firing off, so that is working, it's all good. Um, we're handling that. Um, uh, another thing that I made happen was I made bullets obviously work so now when you press the spacebar they actually travel forward that was something that was wrong with my previous uh, build um, so now they travel forward I made them look a little more like bullets too so that, that's good um, uh, another thing that I did was I converted all of the uh, storage lists in my like able managers my like inputable alarmable drawable uh, managers, hang on, let me find it. I need to do another reorganization of my uh, project files, but anyways, um, I so I, I set I changed them all to sets. That originally they were lists. Um, I, this change was I made this change because uh, sets work with unique uh, values, um, so that that like eliminated the potential for duplicates and so uh, previously in all of my managers I had this like is object in list function uh, that it would check every time it wanted to put something in and that was like kind of stupid um, and wasn't really working so uh, changing it to sets hopefully fixes that problem I think uh, it, it eliminates the potential for duplicates um, so there's that um, uh, another thing uh, before I go into the collision system um, is in relation also to the collision system just something that like uh, I'm dealing with currently um, that I'm not entirely sure how to fix uh, yet but uh, that, that is like my number one priority right now um, currently um, the the way that my scenes handle uh, deleting the collision, um, like that, 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 like step two, uh, collision deleting, uh, collision deletion, um, is kind of, uh, weird right now. Um, so, uh, hang on, let me take a look at it. I've been staring at this for like eight hours today, so my, my mind is uh, a little bit, uh, off balance right now, but uh, basically it, it'll, um, we have this, where am I, where's collision, there we go, okay, uh, in the collidable group method, we have that uh, delete uh, method that gets called, um, and we need to iterate through that and clear all of the commands and such, uh, and that's not happening right now. Uh, and this gets called, I think, in the collision manager. Er, 
yeah, it, it calls execute on the, the shutdown command that it stores, and that, that works, like, the, the command is, is storing and whatnot, it's just that when it gets executed, I'm not handling a pointer correctly or something, so um, what that means is that when I try to change the scene, uh, I crash. Um, so that that's something that I haven't fixed, and um, so yeah, there's that. Um, where are we at on time? This always takes so long. Um, I, I, I don't know how to get like ever hit under four minutes for these, uh, but anyways. Let's talk about collision really quick, um, or not really quick, it doesn't really need to be super rushed. Uh, let me just isolate this. Um, okay, so we have the, we have collidables. Um, I started setting up a class diagram, I didn't actually get it finished, but, um, Basically, if I were to set it up, it would look pretty much exactly like the one in the Sprint 6 page. Uh, anyways, um, I need to get on top of that. Um, not doing it tonight. Um, but anyways, uh, we have collidables. They can be registered to um, all of, like, and we got the template functions. Um, it behaves pretty much exactly how we expect it to. Uh, I had it, I this this was like definitely the getting the collidable group to work with deleting, um, the, like the shutdown commands was like the the longest and hardest part of this this night. I just like kept running into temp, like template issues. Um, so working with templates is not fun, but it's it's actually pretty good. Uh, experience for me. Um, yeah, actually, th this week went kind of well. I got, I was able to do. Oh, well, the thing is, I, I prioritized this class over everything else. Um, so that's why I, I needed to finish tonight because I, I, I can't work on this tomorrow because I'm just going to be at work all day. Um, but I wanted, I really wanted to like get through this and fix some of the major issues with my with my engine and um, get going on this uh, system so that's what I've been doing and, and it's been actually really beneficial and I feel a lot better this week about my progress and my work um, so there's that uh, we have I've got some debug messages set up that tell you like when you register to things it's kind of hard to see when all of these are firing off every five seconds, but you can kind of see I, I have the four um, the four cottages on each, each corner of the plane, uh, and you see those getting registered here, and then we have the frigate getting registered to collide collidable. So that's all registered, and then we see these events popping off because they're getting executed, and. Um, in demo scene, we've got the collision pairs working, and that uh, calls um, that calls uh, either of these functions in the scene. I because uh, the shutdown command stuff like ne needed to be scene specific. Um, I actually put it in this set collision pair function in the scene. Uh, so I didn't have to worry about like getting the current scene from scene manager or anything like that, and this works just fine um, because this only happens when when the collider is getting registered. I can't really think of like why this would be bad, uh, but it might be. I'm unsure of it, but I think I think this is okay for now. It works at least. Um, so uh, how that works is basically the I added a, a method to the collidable group called get shutdown command, um, and in the collidable group class, when it's created, we store a shutdown command in a variable called shutdown command. It's a collision group command, uh, and then we have this function that this accessor method. Uh, so we can do that, and that works fine. Um, 
the collision manager can set the the pairs, uh, and that in doing that it creates these commands, which it inserts into the collision test commands. I did all of the base collision commands. Uh, so that's really fun and that worked. Um, avoiding templates in that way was like kind of cool. It felt like like cheating, uh, but it wasn't. It was it was like a thing and it was cool. Um, let's see. Yeah. So um, that happens there when we process those collision tests. We where we execute them as we iterate through them. Um, one more thing, this is the, the thing that's getting me right now. Um, when the scene ends, we delete this and um, well, when the scene ends, we delete this, we execute the shutdown commands on all of the, um, the collision groups. And then, uh, then we clear this list and that's not working right now. Um, probably because I'm missing something, but I, I can't think of what it is right now, but, uh, that's something that is my next priority. So anyways, that's how that works. It's all good. I'm ready for the next sprint, I think. Um, yeah, it's gonna, it's been a good week and I'm looking forward to getting more in depth with this collision stuff. Thanks.